We're going to talk about fearless women. You have to mention Manon Rayom. Yes. She is still the only woman in ever <laughs> to play in four major in the four major North American sports leagues, and she did it nearly three decades ago. Tonight, she sits down with her Jamie Edmonds as she continues inspiring a generation of girls. As has been the case her entire life, Manon Rayom is most comfortable in a pair of skates. Rayom's father was a hockey coach in their hometown in Quebec. One day, they were short a goalie. The first time I went on the ice, my dad wanted to make sure that people would not judge me because I was a girl, so he put a helmet on me before I went to the rink. She was fantastic between the pipes, but keeping her gender a secret didn't last long, and to play hockey, even in Canada, was a tall task for a girl back then. Every year uh, I was going and training out for the higher level, and uh, it's funny, my dad never told me that, but most of the coaches were telling him, we're not gonna take a girl at that level, don't bring her here. But it only took one coach to see her talent and give her a chance. That led to more opportunities, rising in the ranks from Bantam to Midget to Major Junior. Graham always impressed on a team full of boys, but didn't always get respect. The media was saying, oh, see, she's a girl, she got hurt. And I'm like, okay, if I'm a boy, the cage isn't broke, and because I'm a girl, the cage broke. After another year, Rayom thought she was done with the sport and went to work at a TV station. She was on assignment at the 1992 NHL draft when she met Tampa Bay Lightning GM Phil Esposito. He had seen her play on tape. He realized I was a female, and then he started talking to me, and he said, would you like to come to the training camp? And at first I thought it was joking. Esposito would later say it was a publicity stunt to garner more attention for the expansion team. But Rayom didn't care why. I don't want to live my life with regrets. So if now I have the opportunity to play the highest level, I'm going to take the chance. Everyone assumed she would last a day, but she was so good Esposito one-upped himself and had her start an exhibition game. So on September 23rd, 1992, against the St. Louis Blues, she will start the second period. The then 20-year-old played the first period of an NHL game. She stops the first shot, the rebound. Stopped seven of nine shots, got out of the period with a 2-2 tie. Rayom would later sign a minor league pro contract and play with men for six years. Pass back and forth. Fast forward to today, Rayom is still the only woman to ever play in one of the four major professional leagues. First person cross the blue line, the other person go hard to the net. She's now the director of the girls program for Little Caesars Hockey Club. She's really fun to have because she was the first woman to play in the NHL. I definitely think she's inspiring everybody else. She's um, very brave and what she's done is great. Because of Rayon, maybe the girls here can break down even more barriers. In 20 years from now, hopefully, we're not even going to be talking about that. We'll be doing exactly what the men's doing everywhere. Rayon was the first female goaltender to play in the International Pee Wee Hockey Tournament in Quebec City. And just this month, it was announced she will be immortalized with her own bronze statue outside of an arena there. Also, a movie is in the works about her life. It's entitled between the pipes. Jamie Edmonds, Local 4. I was so captivated by her. I remember that exhibition game like it was yesterday. And really it's been something. almost, what, 30? It's been quite a few years now, getting close, yeah. yeah.